Baseball's back. Woo! What's up, guys? It's a great time because baseball is back. I'm coming at you here with another video, and it's a perfect time to be doing a Pepino Man 2000 subscriber contest response about some of the rarer cards in our collection and some of the more popular cards in our collection or populated. So, so excited, so excited baseball is going to be back here. Hopefully everything goes well. I'll take what we can get when it comes to a season. Caesar, you get a wonderful channel. You crack us all up. You come at us with great videos, one after another. Congratulations on 2,000 subscribers. So let's go and look at some baseball cards. Here we go. So guys, I've been putting together a submission to PSA, some of the cards I was thinking of, some of the cards I've been pulling from packs, broke a couple sets. None of these cards are extremely rare, but Caesar wanted us to talk about rarer cards in the collection and more populated cards. So I've got a stack of eight cards here I'm going to go over with you what the pop reports are. Some rare, some not so rare, but very popular. So the first one. Ronald Acuna Jr. Base PSA 10. How many of these are there out there? Well, today we're talking about um, you know June 2020. There are 12,679 PSA 10s. This is probably the most the the most uh, highest population card in my in my collection. I meant to go in reverse, but I'm going to go show, show some other high pop cards, as you know. Juan Soto, batting. Very, very popular card. Great young player. How many are there in tens as of today? 10,739. Mind blowing. Another great player. As a matter of fact, my favorite third baseman in years, since probably George Brett. Nolan Arenado. This guy is fantastic. He's very popular, as you can tell, because there are 2,702 tens of this card. Last modern card, high pop card, not quite as high, but another great player, Rookie of the Year. MVP. This is the popular Cody Bellinger swinging in a PSA 10. How many of these are out there as of today? 1,769. So as you guys can see, love this card. Pulled this Anthony Gwynn. Dollar Tree. My son Gavin pulled it. Look at that 338 batting average. Unbelievable. Anyway, so you can see there we've got super high pop cards. What about the lower pop cards? Well, i got a couple honorable mentions here. Got this beautiful 61 Fleer Lou Gehrig, 8.5. Love the reds on this color and the classic background, uh, I'm sorry, the classic photo of him kneeling. Um, just a beautiful card. Not many of these are out there. There are six eight and a halfs, 37 nines, and I didn't put the nine qualifiers because nobody wants a nine OC, and ten, or zero tens, zero. Another honorable mention, Henry Aaron, 1960, in a PSA 8. I love, love, love this card. As you guys know, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, this Hank is in an 8. There's a lot of PSA, um, a lot of PSA graded 8s from 1960 cards, but as you get higher in the grades, it's much more difficult. 199 eights, seven eight and a halfs, nine nines, and zero tens. So there's only 16 cards higher than this eight. We're gonna get more rare here. Let's get into strip cards. Shout out to Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Grover Cleveland Alexander, one of the great pitchers of all time. PSA three. This card has a total pop of 45. There are two PSA 3s and 14 higher total. Pick no one out of here. 
Got a couple more cards, guys. The great George Sisler. A great hitter for batting average. Kind of the precursor, one of the greatest first basemen pre-Lou Gehrig. This wonderful card has a super low pop report. 14 total graded, 11 authentic, only one PSA 2, and only two PSA 3. So there's two cards that are higher than this Sisler. This is a derivation, as you can see. This is a W515-1, and this is W515-2. There's a Sisler also in W515-1. These are strip cards, as I've told you guys, from candy stores around that time period, issued in strips. And I'm heading in the home stretch here. <clears throat> Another rare strip card, Tris Speaker, the Gray Eagle, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. W520 hand cut. This speaker has a total pop. It's authentic, not graded with a grade, but there's only eight total population. There's six authentics, there's one PSA 1 and one PSA 3. So this card, there's two out there that are higher than this speaker. Let's move hotshot Luis Robert out of the way. Now, final two cards of the same guy. Shout out to Blue Jacket 66, one of his favorite players. For certain, Christy Mathewson, W520, hand cut Christy Mathewson. This card is um, 100 years old, and that's why it looks like it does. But it's a beautiful card. Um, this one has a super low pop report. There's only 13 graded 11 authentic, as this is. There's one PSA 1 and one PSA 2. And that's it. Total pop. 13 of big six, Christy Mathewson. S similar image, but not exactly the same. Probably the lowest pop card I have. W522 Christy Matheson hand cut. Only five of these exist by PSA. Four authentics, and there's one PSA 1.5 that has a qualifier. So there's a total pop of five of this Christy Matheson. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Check out Vintage Oddball Cards. Check out Pepino Man. I'm sure you already have. And uh, Caesar, congratulations on 2,000 subscribers. Keep collecting baseball cards forever, SA.